Hi Mel, how's it going? I thought I would make you the first video here from England and update you on everything that's been going on. I know that you've been moving around and getting used to things in China, and by now you should have moved from Beijing to the Guangdong province, I hope I pronounced that right, and you'll have been on your horrendously long 23 hour train journey from one side of China to the other. So I thought that I'd let you get through the first two weeks of training, get yourself settled in, have all of your adventures before I start to contact you again from England and, and just let you get on with things in China. But now that's passed and you should be settling into a new apartment now, settling into the lifestyle that you're going to be living for the next year and kind of getting used to things. You should have a relative grasp on Mandarin, I'm hoping, uh, that you've been through your training. Just uh, thought I'd do an update on everything that's been happening over here and by everything I mean nothing, absolutely nothing has been happening over here. You know Bista, you know Banbury, nothing exciting, no adventures ever happen around here. The only thing I've really been doing over the last few weeks of any note has been gigging. I've been gigging everywhere and it's been amazing, it's been really good fun. I mean, yesterday I played at the Bell in Vista, you know, our kind of home pub, the place where Midnight Blink started. We've played a charity um, all day event thing that they do, you know, they do them every bank holiday, so we played there. And uh, on Saturday we played a bit of a special gig, we played over in Launton at Memorial for Ian North. I know he was one of your friends, he died about a year and a half ago, so his friends decided they would get together and hold the day in celebration of Ian North, in celebration of his life, to get all of his friends together so that they can celebrate him, and also to try and raise money and funds for the Meningitis charity. We were invited to go and play there by Chris Carroll, who organised the whole day, so um, thank you, Chris. Really good job yesterday. I had a fantastic time. It was a great day. And uh, so, yeah, we went along and played. We did a couple of new songs. We actually did a cover of Wonderwall by Oasis because Oasis was one of Ian's favourite bands. We were asked to learn a song by them for Ian. Um, and it was a great day. It was really nice to see all of his friends and all of his family come together in celebration of his life. And it really did seem like the kind of day, the kind of event that Ian would have really enjoyed. He would really like the idea of all his friends getting together and having fun. And I think that's what happened yesterday. It was really nice to see all of his friends get together in that way. Um, as, long, as well as music, there was a charity football match between Lawton and a team of Ian's friends. There was a barbecue and uh, I think that we made quite a bit of money for the Meningitis charity, so it was a really good day uh, yesterday. Rain Upon Us, we played the O2 last week. Um, it was a really big gig for us. We loved playing the O2. It's the second time we played there. And uh, we played with a band called Heart of a Coward who were incredible. I know you wouldn't like them because you're not a big metal fan, but to me, they were just, they were incredible. They were really good. It was a really big deal for us because their vocalist uh, used to be in a band called Silosis, who Rain Pommas gigged with before Silosis got famous. So it was really nice to have that kind of connection, to see him again and talk to him. But it was also a bit of a sad day. It was a sad, bit of a sad gig because uh, it was the last gig that we're going to be doing with Darren for a little while. He's now been shipped off to Afghanistan with the RAF for the next three months. So. Uh, we wish him well, and um, in the meantime, whilst he's away, we've got um, Scott, you know, Scott Horn. He's going to be helping us out with gigs and filling in for Darren as and when we need him. Um, and we're also going to be writing a lot of new material. We're not going to be doing a lot of gigs while Darren's away. We're going to be writing a lot of new material so that when Darren comes back, we can dive straight into recording a new EP, which is going to be great. I know that you're not a fan of Rain Upon Us or our music, so... I'll stop talking about them now. As you well know, it was your little brother Harry's fifth birthday the other day. I mean, that is just crazy. I mean, Harry, Harry's a baby. He's tiny. He's this little tiny baby in blankets. That's how I remember him. And now he's five. He's going to school and making friends and playing and talking and doing all of these amazing things that five-year-olds do that he shouldn't be able to do because he's just a baby. I know you're really gutted about not being able to make it down for his birthday. Obviously, you're in China. You can't just nip over for a birthday party. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go. I had to play gigs and things. But um, I'll hopefully be going over to your family's house in the next few weeks to get messages from them, from your mum and from Drew and Harry and Tristan and everybody. And I'm also going to be talking to a lot of your friends like Alice and George and try and get messages from them so that I can upload them to this channel in the next few weeks. Obviously, we've been talking on Skype whilst you've been away. Um, you've been telling me about a lot of your adventures, like the Great Wall and the Forbidden City and things like that. Of course, you've got a lot of videos of all of that that you're going to be sending me to edit and upload to this channel, which we can do as soon as your laptop decides to not be a prick and let you get onto the internet and do the things that you need to do. So uh, look forward to seeing all of those videos and uh, hearing about all of your adventures and seeing your first video from China that you do, your first vlog. I'm really looking forward to that. So I want to hear about the things that have been going on. I mean, I know that you've been in Beijing and that you were learning Mandarin and teaching and you've been to the Great War and things like that, but I haven't heard 
about how you feel about all of these adventures that you've been having. And that's, that's, that's what I want to know. I want to know how you feel. So make me a video quickly. I want to see as soon as you have uploaded those videos into that folder that we've been using, I will get something edited together of your adventures to upload to this channel for everybody to see, uh, all your friends and family and that. So hurry up and get those over to me so I can get editing them. Apart from that, I just want to say that I'm really, really proud of you for doing what you're doing and um, I knew that you would be amazing at it, I knew that you would be awesome and from the one video you've sent me of you teaching, um, I can see that you're going to have a great time, you're loving it and that you're awesome at it, you always would be. Um, and I'm really proud of the things that you're doing. I'm really jealous as well of what you're doing over in China. It's an adventure I'd really like to be able to go on myself, but work commitments and money and things like that just make it not a possibility for a long time. But maybe one day, maybe one day I'll be able to go out there and experience and see the things that you're doing now. Um, other than that, I just wanted to say that I really miss you and that things aren't the same here without you. Um, I miss our nights in with Chili and Gavin and Stacey and friends and things that just make our friendship so special. Um, it's just not been the same without you. So I really miss you and I love you and I'll talk to you soon.